Hey Scorpio, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon. I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our weekend reading for Friday, March 19th through Sunday, March 21st. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio. At the heart of your reading, we have the Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. Getting what you wanted. What's the challenge here for Scorpio? No challenge. If, if anything, leveling up from there. How do I take it one step further and achieve maximum emotional fulfillment? Let's see Scorpio's focus. Magician in reverse. Yeah, you've just received what you wanted, so no need to manifest anything else. Spoiler, spoiler alert, we are all manifesting our reality 100% of the time, unconsciously or consciously. So keep your eye on the prize. Stay wanting what you have if you want to keep it. In the recent past, we have death in reverse. You must have welcomed these changes. Um, you must have just been like uh, a reed in the wind blowing with the winds of change, like, okay, things are leaving my life. I know and I have faith that it's making room for my wish to appear. You kept your eye on the prize thus far, and that's why it's materialized. This could be just like reveling in your successful manifestation. I wonder if death in reverse is just like a, a change in your attitude. You know, death is the Scorpio card. It's like you started to believe that your wish was possible and it appeared. In the energy of your environment, we have a new interest, Ace of Wands. Spirit is gonna, isn't going to let you get complacent here. You're not going to rest on your laurels of wish fulfillment. You are being inspired at the moment with a fresh new motivation. In the near future, how do I get from the 9 to the 10? Where's the missing piece? You're on the search. What is going to allow me to level up emotionally? Oh, uh, in happiness, in joy, in fulfillment. Textbook, Nine of Cups is personal wish fulfillment. What you want personally. Ten of Cups would be um, building that out to your inner circle. What do what do your inner circle want? What do they want? Uh, I don't know if I'm describing that very well. It's like you want everyone around you to have everything that they want. Ten of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. It's like you want your entire life to be fulfilled. And your life includes more people than just you. It's difficult for any one human being to say, I have everything that I want, and then look over at someone sitting across the room from them who's sad because they don't have what they want, and just be able to maintain in your own little bubble your, your happiness, like, mm, I'm just happy over here. No worries about you being sad over there. Do you see like the difference? It's like wanting just emotional fulfillment all around. You rub off on them, they rub off on you. It's also the difference between independent happiness and happiness that includes a love relationship. So if you're missing a relationship, or I should say, if you feel like you're missing a love relationship or romantic connection in your life, we, that's what we might be looking at here is you're turning your focus to where can I seek love?
Your surprise energy, nine of wands. What are we not giving up on? This is perseverance. Perseverance and pursuing ideal emotional fulfillment. What are we not giving up on here? Tell me more about Nine of Wands. Two of Pentacles reversed. There's something that you are choosing between. Eliminating possibilities. You're weighing your options and deciding. But how is this persevering? Give me one more. Four of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. Hmm. This makes me suspect that there's someone who you have felt is clinging to you. Someone who's had their eye on you for a while and you've been undecided. If you've been not interested in that person, I think you're going to continue to not be interested in them. Because you, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, okay, I think I'm connecting something here. Two of Pentacles reversed is tied to the death energy that you've just been through. Release, change, purging, letting things go out of your life. This person's energy is holding on. It's not releasing. Like, um... Four of Pentacles energy holding on is, is holding on in a, in a... Holding on to the past not wanting to grow, not being open to change and evolution and becoming something more than what they are. It's attachment, like out of need. So seeing that tied to like a Knight of Cups potential relationship context, um, you, you don't wanna see that typically. So you are persevering with your death energy, release mode. Could be that you, uh, you have someone come back around. I, sus I suspect they're more of an annoyance to you, the way that you see it. It feels like old energy. I might be wrong about that. Show me hopes and fears for Scorpio. Haha. <laughs> Here it is again. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you want to build out the life that you want. You want what you want. You want your life to be the way you want it to be. You recognize your power to manifest. That's not in question for you anymore. It's just about holding on to the desire, holding on to the intention, the pure intention, and not wavering from that. You have that in spades. You know how it's done. Like you can repeat this behavior now. You've leveled up. The end result, we have the five of pentacles reversed. More change, more release. Um, you might end up moving in the near future. You might end up leaving a job or changing your career path altogether. You might change to a totally new profession. Things are changing for you right now in a very positive way. 
you have an opportunity to make sweeping changes in your life if you want to. You are so just like flowing with this right now. Many times, Five of Pentacles energy feels scary, but in this context, I'm not picking up a whiff of fear. It's like, yeah, bring it on. Bring that change on. I'm ready for it. I eat change for breakfast. I know what to do with change. It's like, cool, everything's up in the air. Now I can hold an intention and manifest how it's going to fall into place. You, you know how to... You know how to hack the matrix. Let's see. And I just, right when I said that, I had 11-11 on my timer. Love it. Okay. Advice for Scorpio. Like you need my advice. Do you have any advice for me, Scorpio? <laughs> Let's see here. What does spirit have? Advice for Scorpio. Hmm. Page of Cups. They're giving me go back to the beginning. Go why are you saying go back to the beginning? A childhood dream of yours. That's where you're gonna find the the ace in the hole. Remember what your what your greatest wish was way back when. Maybe not childhood dream, but something earlier on when your expectations were unspoiled when you believed anything was possible. What did you want for your life? What did you want for yourself? Time to spread those manifestation wings and see what you can do. Scorpio, I hope that helped. Enjoy your weekend. I will see you back on Sunday. I'm going to begin releasing weekly videos starting this coming Sunday and some more planned uh, releases from the channel um, give you a little uh, heads up. I'm going to begin doing weekly live streams every Saturday, not tomorrow, but soon. I'll, I'll announce that when I'm ready to do that. And I'm also going to start doing monthlies. Fingers crossed I'm able, able to fit that into my schedule beginning in April. So again, watch out for an announcement there. Just wanted to give you a little teaser to look out for that. Okay, so enjoy your weekend and I'll see you on Sunday. Bye.